Hello, everybody! Captain on the bridge. And welcome to Let's Play Incoming Star Trek Bridge Commander. Commander. With me, screen. Get Daved. We started right at the beginning here. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. The game is fantastic. You're going to have to overlook some of the graphical shortcomings. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. Seriously, look Proceed past the graphics. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. Hopefully she is not from the Academy. When completed, deliver Captain Picard to Birunu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. That Patrick Time Stewart does a lot of talking. Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Oh, please sit farther away, sir. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I'm going to skip the introduction here. First officer. Because... He's just going to explain some things that I'm going to explain to you guys as we go through the game. So let's just get started. He brought aboard Safi, Captain our first Bridges officer. Wars. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. Don't worry about it. If you would like it. any advice, feel free to consult with me. Captain, it is yes, always sir? a good idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. And we will be doing that several times, because I do remember this game, but not perfectly. So, head to Starbase 12. Easily... Congratulations, done. sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. Captain Wright is the former captain of this vessel. He is dead from... It sort of implied the Vesuvi incident nearly destroyed the ship, and... Me, like the first officer before the story began, basically saved the ship. Course laid in. I so, we're gonna warp to Starbase 12. The game gives a very authentic Star Trek experience, and basically every Star Trek game since has been trying to copy it, and they've basically all come short. Even the good ones. Um, we have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. I guess like Shall Elite Force wasn't bad, base, but... Sir. We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Right. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying Intercept to the Starbase course, nav plotted. Or we could just target the Starbase itself and click Intercept. Your speed's in the bottom right. It goes from reverse to zero, and then zero all the way up to nine. But if you get your uh, helmsman to do an intercept, they'll go nine plus, um, which is about ten times faster. 12, it's sort of a low-level warp. Day, I'm Commander you can only do it in straight lines, though. Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo bays once you've docked. Once I'm Shall done being a douche. Your orders, sir. Yes, we will dock. Docking sequence initiated. You get all your HPs back when you dock. Staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Yeah, what Patrick Stewart said. Yes, the real Patrick Stewart. There's other good voice actors in the game as well. well and then there's this home jerk. Away from home, Captain. We are secure to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. For the record, I'm playing on Captain Difficulty. Supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter Room 2 reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Yay, crew! Uh, playing on Captain, there's three settings. Captain's the middle one. Um, just on the grounds that it's harder when you're recording. Also, more embarrassing when you fail on camera. All right, I believe our orders were to go to whoops, the Vesuvi system. So we'll talk to our helmsman. Course laid in. You can, just so you know, when you're on the bridge, you can use your mouse to adjust your point of view, and you can just look at the people and click to get them to do your thing, to do like accept orders. Yes, sir. But you can also press Welcome the back, F1, sir. F2. Your order, sir. Well, thanks, Felix. Yes, Captain. 
You have nothing nice to say. Congratulations, Commander. Uh, I mean, Captain. The your next order, mistake sir. could mean your life, Miguel. Congratulations, Captain. Your orders, sir? That Brex, he's quite the smartass. You're gonna have to straighten him out more than once. Anyway, set course, course for the Suvi, yes. and we're gonna hit warp. The game very much has that Star Trek vibe, sort of warping around, helping people out, blowing up aliens. It's got it all! We have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. This is Director Tobin Solmes. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. We're overrun the by Vesuvi terrible headbands. Sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Can't we beam it? Before you beam down the relief <sighs> supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. No thank you, Patrick Stewart. I know what I'm doing, in theory. Red alert, shields up. Whoops. I do keep hitting the wrong button accidentally, but uh, don't worry about that. So to fire, you need to go to red alert. Well, I guess there's ways around it, but that automatically brings your weapons online and your shields. And we will be using both of those. If you look in the bottom right, you can see uh, my galaxy class ship along with all the phaser arcs around it. Those show the relative charge level of whatever phasers I happen to be firing, or could fire. Pray for explosions. Alright. So, the big thing in this game is you're not always trying to win a dogfight because the ships are big and even the more agile ones are kind of cumbersome. The Galaxy class is probably one of the most sluggish ones in the game. It has a lot of momentum, turns very slowly, and it takes a while to get it going. <laughs> but, uh... Shall I raise the colony, sir? You're trying to basically spread damage throughout all of your different shield arcs, and you'll note I have six. Four aft, port, starboard, and then um, dorsal and ventral. Alright, let's hail the Haven Colony. The Colony. Sir, the orbital facility is currently unmanned. The Colony. Hailing frequencies open. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. Rut row, Raggy. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event. And it's doubtful we could take many hits. Spend some time Get with your yourself. family. Get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. But seriously, get your will in order. An initial scan of the area so we can get your a better idea of what we're up against. Okay. Initiating yes, scan. Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary Those ones are very far away. Groups. We're going to go for Looks the close like ones. Looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get Intercept to them quickly course, enough, plotted. there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able to present a good idea of the fragment's relative distance to the colony. And our orientation within that. So we've got Kiska flying the ship for the intercept here. That'll help us close the distance. I was talking about the in-system warp thing before. That only gets you within 50 kilometers. Also, these Sir, things the are moving are really quickly. Planet. We might still have time to catch them. Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be given the order to destroy the target. So these things actually might even present a little bit of difficulty for my torpedoes to actually hit them. Those ones did just fine, but aft torpedoes are always, well at least in this ship, they're always a little bit of a, well you're lucky when they hit, let me put it that way. No, accidentally clicked the far away one. 
can only really count on the forward torpedoes. And even then, they can miss some really easy shots sometimes. A really important aspect of this game is just getting the right phaser arcs pointed at what you want to shoot at. And oftentimes you have to do a little bit of ship rotation to get the one you want firing. Oh goodness! You have to do a lot of ship over rotation. So I've got some extra energy directed towards the engines, which is helping me close the distance. It actually had quite a significant impact. I can go almost 5,000 in this thing. Alright, now for the far away ones. That slamming sound, I'm using a PS2 controller hooked into my computer, so I'll try to put it in my lap here, but you may hear it getting banged on the desk quite a bit. Depending on how it goes, you might hear me banging my head on the desk. That's not a joke. Alright, these guys are moving a little fast. I'm a little worried the torpedoes might not hit the target, but... We're alright. We actually came pretty close to a collision there. Collisions don't necessarily destroy your ship. But they pretty much guarantee you're going to have to go back to Starbase 12 for a repair. Your systems can get damaged on board your ship, and that's bad, but what is much worse is when they get destroyed. That basically means no matter what repairing you do, they're boned. Alright, let's light this thing up. We did it. All incoming fragments have been reduced Cancel to non lethal alert. sizes. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. Yay! More close ups of the graphics. Oh, you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Again, we thank you. If you will put your ship into orbit, we can transfer Captain. the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Orbit the planet. Standard orbit. There's almost never things on the moon, but, uh, occasionally. Also, a lot of the systems in this game I don't think have moons. I can't comment. Anyway, it'll take us a little... I guess I can boost the engines. Speed up this process. You've got to get your helmsman to set up things like a standard orbit for you. Entering standard orbit. To prevent the Incoming death. Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outposts survive the effects of the disturbance. I suppose you're going to want me to visit him. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Oh, I think you know. Complete. We can get underway, Captain. All right. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Oh. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. The Sovereign She's is a much nicer ship. She's a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. Okay. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. It's a pretty lame escort. Captain? Okay, Tevron. Yes, Course laid in. I the game restricts the options orbit. on your list just to the ones that are relevant to the mystery, uh, to the mission, but you will actually revisit the same places several times. So you do actually kind of get to know the different planets and everything. It's, it's cool. Approaching 
Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron 2, Commander. Your orders, Captain. Go to Tevron 2. You always warp in at the outside of a system. We are at the outside of a system. All right, then. Intercept course plotted. Uh, which mostly makes sense um, that you would have to... That's the Sovereign, Captain. You know, and stop before you pray. went through planets. Well, I hail the Sovereign, sir. A lot of the time, I guess they wouldn't be in your way, but whatever. I'm just going to bring her down to a stop, just so I don't crash into the Sovereign. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Hey. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. Good thing this your escort's ditched. Ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Seriously? Suspicious Why are you ways? leaving? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse Drax me, sir, but we have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Oh, good. I'm sure this will not look like a weapons buildup. They're hailing us, sir. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torren, commanding the warbird Soyak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? And can I raise my shield? The Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. Try Enterprise not to be distracted by our mouth. The Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign class ship to the Maelstrom, a somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign class vessels raise vast suspicions. Oh goodness. Suspicions we are prepared to act on now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Oh. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these veiled threats. Who is threatening who? Klingon. You threatened I us. Do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Well, there went diplomacy. The we shall play. The sovereign has taken some hits. Oh, goodness. Transmission. Let me raise the shields. Red alert, shields up. Here we go. The Dauntless is yours, Captain. Alright. So this is our first real combat. Training, sir. So they're cloaked, but they're probably not leaving. Warbirds uncloaking. Yeah, here we go. No, it's not a good time. We are attacking Join us. Report, Lieutenant. Looks like the I'm busy with this one. the Romulans are busy with the bird. Their body shield is draining, sir. Sir, another ship is on a collision. will be more effective if the target specific subsystems on the war. Yes, it is on the to-do list, Picard. So how it works is, not only can you target specific shield arcs on the ship. There we go, dodge some disruptor fire. You can actually focus on specific subsystems, as mentioned. Now, you need to still work on their shields to get there. I don't think those are going to come around to hit the bottom shield. They may not come around at all. The other catch is, 
your phasers are more effective. Oh, let's try rolling the ship to spread that damage across multiple arcs. Your phasers are more effective on low power at taking out enemy systems, but they're worse at taking out shields that way. Oh goodness. Recommend that you check with your chief and prioritize repairs. Which is always a nuisance to do. Oh, cut them open like a tin can. They're exposing their unshielded bottom to me. Their left shield is draining, Captain. That is not where their warp core is. You have to be able to reach the system you're targeting as well. Those are going to hit the forward shield, that's kind of disappointing. When they cloak, it's always good to try getting a shot in, because you can really do damage to them. Status on the Romulans, Lieutenant. Looks like we've bloodied their noses a bit. They're turning about, and cloaking. We'll we'll make them pay. Damage, Captain. I would recommend that you check with your chief and prioritize repairs. No, oh, we only have three systems damaged. Conveniently, you can repair three systems at once. Where are they? Come on, uncloak again. You don't get your wish, Ensign. Looks like they've gone. Your thirst for blood shall not be slaked right now. Bring on birds of prey, uncloaking. Captain Draxon, sir. On screen. I'm gonna end it right here. We've gotten a pretty good... We've gotten our feet wet in this game. Um, I'll see you all in the next video, everybody.